if you choose to identify not only with the powerful but with the powerless, if you retain the ability to imagine yourself into the lives of those who do not have your advantages, then it will not only be your proud families who celebrate your celeb existence, but thousands and millions of people whose reality you have helped change. We do not need magic to transform the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. Looking back at the 21 year old that I was at graduation is a slightly uncomfortable experience for the 40, 42 year old that she has become. Half my lifetime ago, I was striking an uneasy balance between the ambition I had for myself and what those close to me expected of me. I was convinced that the only things I wanted to do ever were to write novels. However, my parents, both of whom came from impoverished backgrounds, and neither of whom had been to college, took the view that my overactive imagination was an amusing personal quirk that would never pay a mortgage or secure a pension. I know that the irony strikes with the first of our cartoon of you now. So they hoped that I would take a vocational degree. I wanted to study English literature. A compromise was reached that in retrospect satisfied nobody. And I wanted to study modern languages. Hardly had my parents come rounded the corner at the end of the road that I ditched German and scattered off down the classic corridor.